International des droits de l'homme et de la paix, euh, Nicole Amine, euh, du directeur de la DRAF, monsieur Sylvain Vedel, et celle de la présidente d'Unicité. Bah, J'invite à me rejoindre sur scène le vice-président de la région Normandie en charge des lycées et de l'éducation, monsieur Bertrand Degnaud.
on peut les applaudir encore très très fort. Mais quel plaisir, quel super, cette chanson si La Merci de mort parce qu'elle dédie sa vie à la défense des droits des prisonniers politiques, des disparus et de leurs familles. Elle a créé l'organisation non gouvernementale No Photozone pour promouvoir les droits de l'homme et faire la lumière sur les disparitions forcées et les situations de détention. Maria Kolesnikova est une figure de l'opposition biélorusse. Engagée pour la lutte contre l'oppression politique imposée par Alexandre Loukachenko, elle a été condamnée à 11 ans de prison pour avoir contesté les résultats des élections présidentielles. Aujourd'hui, sa santé se dégrade et sa famille n'a quasiment plus de nouvelles. En réaction à l'attaque coordonnée du Hamas en Israël le 7 octobre 2023, le gouvernement israélien impose depuis un blocus sur la bande de Gaza ainsi que des opérations militaires. Motaz Azaiza, journaliste palestinien, couvre le conflit et met en lumière le destin des populations. Il mène un combat pour le droit à l'information et la protection des journalistes. To keep uh, fighting uh, for the rights of uh, detainees and families of forced to be disappeared, and forced to be disappeared themselves, from those names on my dress. So I'm wearing a dress uh, white, first of all, because it's the color of my wedding dress that I couldn't wear, and also because it's the color of peace. This dress has the names of 101 disappeared and detainees in Syria. Actually, I selected 101 because it refers that there is more than 100,000 disappeared in Syria. I chose the colors blue because it's my favorite color. I was wearing a blue dress when I got married in prison. It's the color of the logo of No Photo Zone. It's the color of the sky, which for me represents clarity and truth. The color of sea that represents freedom. And I would thank the, the people, basically women, who worked on this dress for three months, including who get it from Istanbul to Paris. You know, you trend for Iraq. And I would say there is no future for Syria uh, because it's very frustrating, it's very obvious. But after meeting the like fantastic jury and students, after watching this celebration of freedom, now I believe we will have future one day. And I'm really happy to, to share this special moment with you. Thank you very much. Aujourd'hui, 2024, il a quitté Gaza pour rejoindre le Qatar suite à l'interruption des communications décrétées par Israël. Il prévu de s'engager pour la liberté de la presse et la protection des journalistes. Mon cher Bocage, nous allons vous remettre symboliquement ce prix de liberté. and no freedom for my country, Palestine. First, allow me to thank the Freedom Prize for inviting me and giving me this opportunity to speak and to deliver the information, giving me the freedom that I was going to lose my life for it. But here, I have access for it, free, safe, 
and in front of all of you. I would like to thank you all for the support and the support of the free press and speech, especially at this point in time where journalists are under a such a threat in Gaza, in my homeland, and around the world also. I really appreciate this opportunity. It means a lot. All that I care about with this opportunity is just to represent my country, where a lot of people, a lot of evil people, are trying to remove Palestine from the globe. But we are alive. Documenting, showing the world the raw realities without any effect, without choose what to show or, or, or what not to show. But even showing the world what's happening was going to cause, my, cause, me, to cause me my life. I was going to lose my life many times, not just at one time. And after spending 107 days covering the war in Gaza, after witnessing dozens or hundreds, not dozens, hundreds of massacres happening to my people, <coughs> I got the opportunity to, to evacuate, even if it wasn't a choice. It wasn't a choice for me to stay, it wasn't a choice for me to leave. Journalists <coughs> lost their lives, most of them are my friends and colleagues. After losing more than 18 friends, losing more than 25 of my family, I, and I witnessed all of this, and now it's been 240 last days of killing Palestinians. More than 40,000 people have been killed, 100,000 people are injured, thousands of people are lost, and 2.3 million people are locked free of, from the occupation because we are in 2024. And there is still people killing each other. There is still occupation. There are still people suffering around the world. As the World War II wasn't enough. As the pain in the past wasn't enough for us. So I, I, I hope every one of you to help me to make sure that one day we get a free Palestine and to stop the killing. Thank you so much.